part of the fun of riding motorcycles is of course riding motorcycles. But there's far more that comes with it, including meeting some very interesting people. My name is Tony Pereira and I am the founder of Movers Feature. Tony and his group of nutter friends are famous for riding Vespers and riding them everywhere, including a trip planned for next year to Summit Sani Pass. But it all started with a little store called Movers Speed Shop. Movers Speed Shop is a one-stop shop for all Vespers. We do maintenance, modification on all other Vespa models, but we also specialize in custom one-off builds. Started probably about 10 years ago, my dad and I had some custom vans and we would go camping and get really frustrated that we couldn't go up to the shops or anything because the van was set up. And we were looking for something to slide into the back of the van that we could pop up to the shops on. And a Vespa was ideal because it was small and we could pick it up on our own. And um, bought two, rode them around the block and thought this can't be it. So we set about modifying them and making them a little bit quicker and nice to our likings and uh, went on a couple of Vespa rides and very shortly had a queue of Vespas standing outside having the same work done. <laughs> and as is the way with specialist shops, there's quite a bit to it. So we've got two sort of partitions to the workshop. We've got the main section behind me over here, which is where all the bikes are kept, is where we keep majority of our stock and uh, it's sort of where they stand when they're not being worked on and they look nice and pretty. Then on the other side, to the right of that, is a fully fledged workshop. We do our own machining. We've got a little machine room at the back. We've got enough space to be able to work for on about four or five Vespers at the same time. And then at the back side of the workshop, we've got a dirty workshop, which has got all of our fabrication tools and all that sort of stuff so we can pretty much do almost everything in-house the only thing that we don't do in-house is paint but we've got custom creations down the road which is where we do all of our paint work beyond that there is also a boutique selling movers merchandise and they are the importers of polini the famous performance product brand obviously he's had a lot of vespers through his store but when we pinned him down as to how many exactly on average, we do between four and five bikes a week, and we've been running for 10 years. So many. <laughs> His biggest project so far is a bike they're calling Turbo, named after the animated film, and designed to tackle the likes of Tolton Dragstrip. And it's quite a build. So the, the ones that spring to mind, I mean, obviously first thing that springs to mind is Turbo, because it's probably the best thing that I've built to date. Um, Turbo is making, the, the whole purpose and the, the premise of the build for Turbo was to build something ridiculously fast that could surprise everyone. And uh, that was the reason why we landed up with the Turbo theme anyways, because it was such a good metaphor. Um, the bike is making 75 horse on the wheel and it comes in at about 110 kgs. So the power to weight ratio is just over 700 horsepower per ton. And um, it's geared to do 220, we're expecting 11s on the drag strip, we hope. <laughs> I might embarrass myself, but that's what we're hoping for. Um, and the way that the preliminary tests and things, that certainly, I think it will be there. The specs of the motor, it's a single cylinder, two stroke, 306 cc. Uh, it redlines at 10,000 RPM. It's got 12 inch wheels, which they normally shouldn't have. It's got a modern GTS Vespa's front suspension and fork setup and everything. Um, we have lengthened the chassis to give a little bit more weight on the nose. We've also strengthened it down the front because we didn't want to have a crossbar. We wanted to keep that step through Vespa style and design. Um, we built a custom soft touch wheelie bar so that if it lands up on the back wheel over 100 odd k's an hour, it at least does it softly and it hits the wheelie bar softly, it doesn't upset you. Um, it's got a completely adjustable wing so we can dial in and dial down downforce as well as counter sort of weird angles because everything is single-sided on this bike you've got a lot of torque and twist on the chassis so we're worried that at high speeds it's going to pull to the one side so that wing can adjust left down and right down as well so we can try and counter for that that's the theory anyway 
We are hoping to get a ride on Turbo on the show when it's complete. But Vespers and various scooters come in many forms and they seem happy to go mental with anything. One of the other things that we enjoy doing over here is we enjoy doing off-road Vespers. So we've recently done probably five or six. Uh, we're busy with another one at the moment. Um, so those have really taken our time recently, but uh, we've done a couple of interesting street bikes. This one is also an interesting one. This is a 58 um, that we've just done a complete engine overall on and everything. This bike quite comfortably now sits at 130 k's an hour. Um, there's a very interesting moped just over there. We'll get some shots of it now. now. Um, that also does 100 k's an hour for a bicycle pedal moped style Vespa. It has a 72cc two-stroke motor that revs to 17,000 RPM. And then it's got a CVT drive in it as well. So it gears up as you need it. It's got longer drive ratios in the rear. Fancy continental wet weather tires. <laughs> there are many more examples, including a Vespa sidecar, a pink Floyd Vespa, and a Vespa that was actually owned by Travis Pastrana himself and is featured on some of his videos. It seems that Tony and crew are doing a good job because business isn't exactly slow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're busy with at the moment. It's all keeping us very busy, including all of our customer builds and projects that have all been booked in. The, the shop is very busy. We're busy till next year, April or somewhere around there. Um, but by the time you guys see this on TV, it might be a little bit later than that. Best, best way, if you've got a project in mind or if you want to sort of come and speak to us about a build, uh, you can either come and see us in person, you can get hold of me on my WhatsApp number. There's also emails and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure Don will put it up on screen. Um, and yeah, get a hold of us. Let us know what you're, what you're after. If you've got a project in mind or if you're looking for a project that you want to build or if you just want a cool Vespa and you don't know how to go about it, um, just give us a shout and we can walk you through it. And then lastly, what do some of these builds cost? We've done a good couple of Vespas that have come in at over 200 odd K. Um, the most expensive one that we've built, we never landed up handing the ball over, that would be Turbo. Uh, Turbo's engine alone comes in at just over 350. Um, so it's big money. It's the, the, the build on that bike is probably well over 700, 750,000 Rand that we spent on it, including paint and all of the fancy little trick bits. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're doing 220 k's an hour in a Vespa, you want to know that things are done right. <laughs> <laughs>